Who's on the on your bucket list of like I want to work with this person? To... That's an awesome question. Does it have to be a specific role, and does it have to be for season two? It could be anywhere. Hey, man, wherever, right. wherever. I'll, I'll let you go. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. No, we were talking about this. We want to cast Christopher Judge as Atlas. Oh, oh yes, we were talking. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm a god boy. I feel like they could cast a really like cool actor for Prometheus, like maybe Willem Dafoe. You know how much I sacrificed. Zendaya. Oh, okay. of course. Zendaya. Athena. Oh, that'd be cool. What are you hiding, Peter? I'm just kidding. I don't care. Bye. So oh, perfect. guys. I mean, like, oh my gosh. Hi guys, hey, thank hey. you so much for joining us on the movie podcast today. Thank you for being in Toronto. This is awesome. It's so great to see you. I hope you like that we wore our Christmas sweaters for very you today. Very nice, very fitting. You yeah, great. we brought it to our, our mythological Canadian, creatures. Yeah, yeah mythological in Canada. Creatures, yes. Yeah, we have uh, the Toronto slots. Yeah, and, uh, uh -huh. a snowman. So that's the closest we got here in, right. in Toronto. So that's, that's <laughs> the best we can do for you. But you know, we're so glad that you're here and we're, we just want to congratulate you on the show because this has been something that's been in the works for such a long time, and Percy Jackson means so much to so many people. So what does it mean for the three of you to now be able to leave your stamp on it? I mean, well, you know, I, I think I speak for all of us when I say, like, we were huge fans of the book series, mm -hmm. like, growing up. And Walker kind of summed it up perfectly earlier. Um, we want to make something that we're proud of, too, something that we would want to watch as fans of the books. And uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of, like, good pressure adapting something so iconic. Uh, it kind of, like, we want to make something, again, that we're proud of. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. You see that for sure. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I think you summed it up for me. <laughs> <laughs> what he said, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. what he said. So, you, you could say the same thing if you like to. I think you pretty much said it. <laughs> <laughs> I love Sorry. That. And no, it's, no, it's, no, it's good. good. And, and it's a great answer, and I think you all have left something special mm -hmm. on this, for sure. Now, I'm sure the day that you guys all found out that, hey, we're going to be in this show, must have been like a core memory. Mm -hmm. Who was the first person you told him? Leo, we can start with you. Um... I definitely told my dad and my brother. Wait, no, <laughs> my brother, because my dad was on the phone call with them, so he was. <laughs> That's what he knew. Yeah, yeah so he knew. <laughs> uh, and my mother knew too. So yeah, I feel like it was my brother first. Um, legally, nobody else. Um, <laughs> but um, <laughs> Disney, with, no one's watching right now. Bob Iger, I don't tell anybody else. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, I told my best friend and. Like my cousins and stuff, I was like, oh, I guess what just happened and stuff. But um, weekly, no, I did not tell anybody else but my brother. Um, and because he's a really big fan of the books. Like he like he was a really, really big fan, like a diehard fan about it. So he's really the one who got me into um, reading it. So I was so grateful to tell him that I got the part and stuff. And he was very proud of me. That's awesome. <laughs> Love that. Walker, how about for you? I was, um, right before I got on like the interview where they told me um, I got the part, I was on FaceTime with all the people from Secret Headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> it was a couple months after we shot. And so I hung up to do the interview, and then like 20 minutes later, I called him back, and then I told him I got it. Oh. And that was pretty cool. That's, yeah. That's awesome. All right. The guy who sent me the open call, he, he's a very close friend of mine. He, he got me into the series. He, he's known me since like I was born. And... Uh, what, like he sent me the, I had no idea that they were making a show. He sent me the open call and I got the audition a, a little bit after that. And he is, I think, the first person I told. Because, like, yeah, I, I likely wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. That's wicked. That's really sweet. Love that. Yeah. Now, in the first two episodes, there's so many amazing and crazy moments that kind of happened. For you three, what was your favorite moment to shoot? <laughs> That's a good question. There's a lot of good ones. There's a lot of <laughs> answers to that. Yeah, there's a lot of <laughs> Personally, I'm gonna go with the Aries fight. Yeah. It's, it's the Aries fight. I think since me and Arian got there, we were talking about that. Um, I think it's the only thing we talked to to Rick about yeah. was the Aries fight, and he was gonna be cast as Aries. And uh, yeah. Now the three of you, you guys are such an incredible trio together. I'm wondering what was it like the first time you all met each other? What what was that experience like? Did you guys kick it off right away, or were you just like, oh, I don't know, gotta feel this person out? <laughs> Because you guys seem really tight, which is great. It's all an act. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, we don't, you guys we are don't great. Really yeah. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. yeah. Outside of the show, too. It took me mm -hmm. years to be like this man. 24-7 <laughs> job. 24-7 job. Mm -hmm. But yeah, what was that first meeting like for you guys? It was um, May 1st when um, we got there. And mm -hmm. um, Arian's birthday, May 6th. Um, <laughs> Happy birthday. We, Thank you. <laughs> um, we went to go... Um, watch a movie 
for his birthday. Um, and I think that was our first hangout, actually. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. We met each other a couple times before that, but we didn't really, like, we met each other at the chemistry reads, but yeah. I don't think you really, like, talk to each other. <laughs> <laughs> you know, chemistry read means that, like, let's see how they get along together. Right. Mm -hmm. Really, at that chemistry read, if you look at the auditions, it was like we were auditioning for one thing, like, and one thing only. <laughs> like, like, it's like we were only there to do the audition, kind of. Right. <laughs> but then, um, yeah, I feel like the real chemistry week was when we got the part. Was there, like, one thing that you all bonded over that wasn't Percy Jackson related? Does Heroes of Olympus count? <laughs> <laughs> we'll, I'll say yes for now. <laughs> well, what that. was that movie that you guys wanted to see for your birthday? Um, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse. Oh, yeah. Love it. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. It was sense. a weird. It's. I was. It's, it was a weird like thought. I don't think we like really talked to each other before that because it's weird to think about that you're gonna like be with this person for the next like seven years of your life, yeah. right? Yeah. Nonstop. So it was like it was weird to like get to know each other, you know. We're supposed to be friends. We're going on this journey together, and you don't want to force it, but you guys make it seem so natural, which is great. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, you guys are working with some absolute titans in the show. Yeah, you have you know Megan Mullally, Lance Reddick, Jason Manzukis, Lin Manuel Miranda. So curious, what was the best piece of advice they gave you? Oh, it's mm. a very good question. That is a very good question. <laughs> <laughs> Only hard balls this morning. Oh, yeah. Sorry, it's I was thinking it was a joke that they had told That's me. jokes. Yeah. Jokes are good, too. Are jokes. This is going to sound really mean. Is it about me? It is. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are ever interviewed like people in Christmas. <laughs> no, no. Run for your life. Yeah. See two guys in Christmas setters. Um, don't do the interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's kind of funny because I don't know how I remember it, but it's like, it's kind of like about walker and orion but like oh, not <laughs> but it's like oh, it is no. but it isn't oh. like i don't know how to explain it like well i mean it, it has to do with me being the only girl mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. like um miss um megan maloli she was oh my gosh she was basically like she's like no matter if you're the only girl out of two crazy boys sorry um, she said, she, she said, no matter if you're, like, I literally remember she was like, no matter if you're the only girl out of two crazy boys, just know that you will always shine. And, um, like, I was, it's funny, but, like, it, it, it's also, mm -hmm. at, yeah. you know what I mean? There's, there's, there's a level to it for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and I was like, oh, thank you so much. And then I forgot, it was something after that, but, like, she kind of, like, like did like a little shove to me or something after, but I forgot the joke though. But it was I, I I'm glad I don't remember because I feel like it was something even worse. <laughs> like, <laughs> but thankfully I don't remember that. But it was kind of like that basically. That's awesome. I love that. It's nice that that stayed with you guys as well too, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Now speaking of you know the absolute titans that you're working with, these Olympians, I'm curious, what which Olympian power would you guys want for yourselves in real life if you could only have one? I don't know if this is like a thing that he can do because he has the shoes, but I just want like Hermes's oh, yeah. boots, you know, like the super speed. Like mm -hmm. they just kind of come with everything, you know? Yeah. And he can fly, which is awesome. Yeah. I gotta say Zeus because he can control the winds. Mm -hmm. Maybe Sun. I don't know. I'm between Zeus and Sun. Um, I feel like I kind of gotta say Sun. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot say yeah. Sun. You gotta say yeah. it. You gotta mm -hmm. say it. Athena or Zeus, yeah. Um, Again, I feel like I would have to say Athena, but like, um, I feel like I would do Zeus because like, you know, like, um, he just like has control over a lot. Yeah. And I'm not saying I'd like to take control, but. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not a bad thing to have though. No, exactly. not a bad thing to have. Exactly. Now I'm curious for you guys, we wrap up here. If we're getting to season two, who do you want to see fan cast in whatever role that kind of oh. comes out? Like who's on the on your bucket list of like I want to work with this person to be in the next season? That's an awesome question. Does it have to be specific role, and does it have to be for season two? It could be anywhere. Hey, man, wherever, right. wherever. I'll, I'll let you go. Roles. Yeah. I don't know a specific actor, but I feel like they could cast a really like cool actor for Prometheus oh, yeah. in mm. season five because I feel like that's a really cool scene when he goes and talk to him. I feel like yeah. that would be, like maybe Willem Dafoe or oh. something. Oh, that like, would, would be really, pretty. You know, yeah, yeah. I see yeah, that. Willem Dafoe would be really cool. It's a great pick. I have to cast like a really cool Atlas. Oh, oh, yes. No, we were talking about this. We want to cast Christopher Judge's Atlas. Oh, oh yes, we were talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. See him tonight on the Game Awards, too. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Whoa. Please, do, do you have do you have do you have one hat before yeah. we please, please go ahead. drop it? Um Zendaya. Oh, oh yeah, of course. Athena. Athena. Oh, yeah. oh that'd be cool. That'd be so oh cool. guys, Perfect. I mean like oh my gosh. And then I um how do I explain this? This is gonna I feel like um well you know, cause if they ever had to just as a like a suggestion, I think that um as a another Zeus. Mm-hmm. And like I know that Mr. Lance is not here anymore. Rest in peace. He's really good. Um, I feel like Miss uh, Idris Elba. Oh yeah, would yeah. Be really good. After that, Beast, yeah, yeah. Why not? Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I love that. All of you, you guys are fantastic in the show. We're we're so grateful that you shared your time with us today, Arian Walker and Leah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, we'll be able to talk to you guys again and just enjoy what's coming because yeah. people are going to love this show. So just make sure Absolutely. you take that time and enjoy it. Thanks, thank, you. thank you so, so much. Guys.